Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee is chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He supported Mr. Trump during the campaign and served on his National Security Advisory Council starting in October. Senator Corker is on Capitol Hill for his first TV interview since the presidential election. Senator, good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. You're the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, which mm -hmm. means you will be in charge of any selection in terms of approval of a secretary of state for President-elect Trump. Do you see any trouble with Rudy Giuliani in that position? Oh, look, I, uh, I think we let this process complete. We know who the person is. I, it is going to be my job to, to lead the confirmation process, but to handicap people at this moment uh, would just be inappropriate. Let's let but, it play out. Well, and let me let ask it this way. What would, Trump, you, what would yeah. you like to see in a Secretary of State? Well, obviously, uh, it's uh, the person who uh, is best able to advance our national interests around the world. And um, obviously, it's someone that has to deal with diplomats. But at the same time, um, I think we see that there's going to be pretty much of a sort of a sea change issue, if you will, uh, under this president as it relates to how we address many issues. And so, um, you know, someone's going to have to have the ability and be in an environment where they're productive and able to do that. So, uh, look, I, this is the beginning. I know that uh, people are just getting started, and, and uh, let's let this play out. And I do look forward to uh, helping in any way I can in the confirmation process. Well, Senator, Senator, your name did come up as a possible Secretary of State candidate. Did, yeah. did, have you talked to the president-elect, or would you be interested in the job? I did talk with him to congratulate him, as I did uh, Vice President Pence. Um, but I, we have had no discussions about this. I'm reading the same things that y'all are reading and watching the same things that uh, you know you're reporting. And, and uh, again, that's that's up to them. I know they had a number of people that were central to the campaign that have been involved in a very major way that are looking at these things. And let's let that process play out. You have praised Donald Trump's decision to make Reince Priebus his chief of staff. Yeah. What are your thoughts about Steve Bannon? We haven't heard anything about that, your feelings about yeah. that. Yeah, you know, I don't, don't know him. I've never met him. Uh, Reince just happened to be someone that uh, I've had a number of uh, interactions with and had dinner with and spent a lot of time with, and I think he'll be a great chief of staff. The other gentleman I just uh, have never met. I was listening to your... Uh, uh, to your reporting just a minute ago and, and uh, learned some things that, uh, that I have never known. So uh, we'll see. You didn't know that Steve Bannon was the head of Breitbart and, and that Breitbart has had headlines like that? I did know that they were head of Breitbart, that he was head of Breitbart, but again, I've just never met him. I've never had any interaction with him at all and, and uh, am learning as we go. So CBS News was first to report that President-elect Trump is considering designating his adult children national security advisors so that they could receive top security clearances. We yeah. also know that they will be running uh, Mr. Trump's large business empire. Do you see a conflict mm -hmm. of interest? Well, I first of all, it's my understanding that, that, and I don't know, and I think you're reporting what you've heard, my understanding is they didn't actually make that request. Um, they asked if it was appropriate, uh, or at least that's what one of his aides had mentioned, but my guess is that's not going to happen. I don't think that's uh, the norm, and so that conflict likely would, would not exist. Well, President-elect Trump has spoken with uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin as head of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. What do you think about the, the relations between the U.S. and Russia under this new administration? How do you see that well, going? We, well, we'll see. Look, I, I, uh, there are some things that we have in common with Russia and should work with them on. Terrorism is one of those. On the other hand, I mean, uh, Putin has shown himself to be a brutal dictator-like leader. and. Um, let's face it, has worked against our national interests. I think it's always positive when leaders of two countries begin on a positive note. Uh, hopefully there's something to build upon there, but uh, obviously Mr. Putin himself would have to change the way he deals with the world for that to be a constructive relationship. Maybe with uh, President-elect Trump uh, being in office, uh, maybe that changes. All right, Senator Corker, thank you very thank much you. for taking the thank time you. to join us this morning. Thank you.